Hi everyone, Yath and Yatano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Ski Mask, the Slump God album, You Will Regret. It's really more of, I guess, a mixtape. Bleh, uh, bleh. The Ski Mask the Slump God is a Florida rapper who's been making some noise online with some small time hits, some features with his boy XXX Tentacion. He's got a few EPs out as well, and I don't know how he swung it, but while his buddy X was getting all this promotion on the Double XL freshman cover, uh, here we have Ski Mask getting this little thing over here released on Republic Records. He is out here. I hope he didn't have to sell his soul to get this thing out, but. I respect his hustle. And I've been slowly kind of coming around on this thing. At first, I just kind of assumed it wasn't going to be for me. Nothing of interest here. Just another kind of ad libby trap rapper with not a lot of lyrical substance. And maybe on the surface, it does kind of seem like that. I mean, there are a lot of trendy instrumentals on this thing. There are a lot of ad libs. There's a lot of very druggy, sexual, materialistic, and violent lyrical content. Though Ski Mask does occasionally come through with some very quirky and strange wordplay. But I don't know, man. There is just something about Mr. Slump God. And it's not that he's actually a very talented rapper. I mean, some of the flows that he whips out on this thing are really fast, dizzying, intense, and fun. I mean, he can be really precise when he wants to be. And he's not just this emotionless, slack-jawed moron, either. Even on the low-key cuts on this thing, his delivery, his performances are really expressive and animated and pretty off the wall. I mean, some of his vocal inflections on this thing don't even sound like he's in control of his own voice. Don't even count my money. Money kind of count my money. That's kind of like my weird, tame impersonation of it. Like, on record, it sounds even weirder. And some of the lyrical references he brings on this thing are really obscure, they're nerdy, they're strange, a lot of very dark humor, a lot of cartoon references, a lot of horror movie iconography. On the song Adventure Time, he makes at least a couple references to Chuck E. Cheese. And there are a handful of earworm refrains on this thing that I just cannot deny. And there's some really gross and just really unexpected similes on this thing too, like where he's talking about his pockets being so fat that they have allergies or like they have cancer. My bitchy hot, my bitchy hot, my bitchy hot, my bitchy hot, just like a stove, just like my piss, when it smell old, I'm whipping a bowl. Hot like your piss? Okay, okay. All, all right, right. All, all right. right. I will say his style is kind of gimmicky, and there's not too much to some of these songs that are mostly these very quick, aggressive, meme hits of vocal wildness that just kind of dip before the two minute mark. And there is an interlude track on this thing that just sounds like a Travis Scott ripoff. However, though, I do think what Ski Mask the Slump God is doing on this project is kind of par the course for what I talked about in that Little Yachty Raps Punk Phase video. Because while I do come away from this thing leaving a little unsatisfied, like there could have been a bit more to this thing, I do think Ski Mask is bringing kind of a newer, wild style. I think he's kind of breaking down the fundamental of the genre. His music is kind of crazy and energized and visceral and takes a sort of rudimentary approach. There's some true highlights on this thing, in my opinion. Uh, the song that I referenced earlier, Just Like My Piss. Love the eerie lead melody on the beat in this thing. The insane rapid fire flow that Slump God brings throughout this thing. The very slow and heavy bird is the word uh, is almost like mutant in the way that Slump God raps on this thing. No, the bird, the bird is the word, the bird, the bird, the bird is the word. Obviously a drug reference, but the refrain itself is a <laughs> reference to the Trashman song Surfin' Bird, which is something I would. Uh, never think I'd, I'd, I'd hear mentioned so overtly in a uh, contemporary rap song, but here we are. And again, just the tone of the really odd, drawn out, weird vocals on this thing. It's borderline disturbing and unsettling. And the song Baby Wipe, what is it with all these weird underground SoundCloud Florida rappers right now, like busting out these really fast, funny, very catchy flows. There are a lot of weird overdubs specifically on this track. It almost kind of hits a bit of a Migos vibe at points. I feel like I'm listening to like two or three different slump gods all at once on the same track, all kind of going crazy. It has a really disorienting and kind of overwhelming effect that I like a lot. And the very high energy H2O that ends the project off is a highlight for me too. While I'm not really a huge fan of X at this point in time, uh, I can't deny that these two have a lot of chemistry together. The rumbling bass and the very punchy beat on this cut help a lot too. I wish the song Rambo was a bit longer. I feel like it's a good 
intro to the album and displays exactly what makes Slump God so appealing or so unappealing, depending on what your opinion of this guy is, because I don't think he's for everybody. No. The song Energy is a bit of a snoozer. There are bits of this song that I like, uh, but there are a lot of spots where there just isn't much vocal presence from Slump God, and it really could have used a little bit more of, I don't know, everything. And the song Ever Took a Tab, in my opinion, just doesn't add that much to this project that is already so short to begin with. It's just 25 minutes or so. And given that length, it really should have been all killer and no filler. On this thing, and hopefully into the future, I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping for more material, longer, more fully fleshed out songs, wilder production, more structure, more experimentation, getting a little bit more adventurous with the lyrics. But as of right now, I think Slump God has a lot to offer with these really crazy, wacky land raps that he's doing. And while it is very much an obviously flawed project, I think that, uh, I don't know, there's just a lot to look forward to, hopefully, as long as Slump God continues to progress and evolve and grow and build upon what he's done here. I'm feeling a strong six to a light seven on this thing, Tran. Zition, have you given this Slump God project a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like, if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Just leave an angry comment in the comments if you're angry. Over here next to my head is my Yachty is Rap's new punk phase video. Check that out, watch that video, some good thoughts in that video. Or you can click on the link to subscribe to the channel. Or, um, yeah, you can go eat some vegetables and drink some water and stay hydrated. Shut up. Leave a comment and do what I tell you forever.